It was a very emotional night for me, and uh, as you can see, I was a little tentative. You know, I wanted to make sure that I secured the victory, and everyone says, you know, the decisionator, Ryan LaFlair, and I know, you know, I can't finish fights. Trust me, I wanted to finish the fight, and uh, I let, you know, I let my emotions get hold of me. As you can see, after the fight, I almost broke down a little bit, but uh, just happy that I got the win. I was a little disappointed in the stupid mistake I went for that crazy takedown. But at the end of the day, a win's a win, and uh, I want to fight again and keep it going. Vellante said that, you know, just fighting, you know, so close to home like this, there, there are nerves that are associated with that. Did you feel those in there? Oh, 100 percent. I never get nervous. I guess, uh, you know, my ADD normally plays in a positive effect when I fight because I just, don't, you know, tune out everything else and I just fight. But today I was just, you know, my father was at the fight for the first time. He's never been to one of my fights. I've been fighting since 2008. And uh, he's never been to my fights. So as soon as I walk out, as the first person I see. I'm like, oh, I can't get knocked out in front of my dad. Did, did you have to talk him into coming to this one? No, he was like, this is it. It's in New York. You know, I finally, finally fight in New York. Because he knows how much I've, uh, I've lobbied and I, how dedicated I was to making it legal here in New York. Even before I was in the UFC, I was going on Hot 97 radio shows. I was doing everything you could do to get, to get it legalized in New York. And, uh, and now it's here, and, and my dad knows you know, that I dedicated my life to this. He knows that's how I support my family, and he was like, I got to be there. It wasn't even a, a thought. So it was never that he didn't support you being a fighter? No, I always supported that. me. Yeah. You know, I've been an athlete my whole life. He's been in every wrestling match, every lacrosse game. He's always supported me. He just, you know, no one wants to see their, their kid get punched in the face. But he's accepted that it's a real sport, and, uh, and you know, he believes in me, and that you know, helps me believe in myself, too.